going on YouTubers? In my last video I did an iMovie stress test, so in this video I thought it would be a little bit more appropriate and a lot more unconventional than what I thought the last video was to do a, um, what I like to call a video conversion stress test, you could almost say. But, um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is pretty much I'm going to be converting two videos in a comparison Mac Mini, the 2011 Mac Mini of course, versus the 2010 MacBook Pro which I've been using for all of my videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. And this is a lot, uh, like I said, a lot more unconventional than I said before. I haven't seen this almost anywhere, but I am going to be using a 5 minute and 37 clip and I'm going to be converting it to all sorts of formats. Well, not all sorts. I'm going to be converting it to two different formats and I'm going to be recording the time and I'm going to be speeding it up just like the last video. And we're going to be having comparison. So I'm sorry if it's real jump, uh, jumpy and back and forth, I guess you could say, because it's going to be like the same last video where I jump back and forth and I compare them and of course there are going to be statistics at the end so now we have the uh, 5 minute and 37 clip converting to an exhibit format and you can see the Mac Mini performs very well even while using screen flow to record the screen and it's just flying by this I think it ends up taking like two minutes to do this and then you're of course going to see the MacBook Pro completely and probably utterly fail at doing this so it takes about 2 minutes and 15 seconds, 17 seconds to do this, so now we're on the 2010 MacBook Pro, and we're just going to go ahead and get set up real quick. We of course are going to be converting it to an XWID format just like the last one, and then we're going to drag it in, and we're going to speed it up like before. So it ends up taking probably longer than the Mac uh, Mini, like usual, like in all of my other videos. I'm going to guess around uh, four times as long, so we're just going to have to wait and see. This is sped up a lot more than the last clip, so I'll get back to you guys in about mm, 10 seconds. So it takes about almost six minutes, and this is relatively good for using screen flow. I've seen worse on a lot of others, but now we're on the Mac Mini again, and this this is just the true test because we are now converting to full 1080p on uh, converting to an MP4 from a .mov while sc uh, screen recorder is running. So this is in real time, in case you're wondering, and don't worry about that. So this doesn't take too long with the Mac Mini as many of you uh, expected. This is mainly just for comparison. But anyway, it takes about 4 minutes. I think it's 4 minutes and 15 seconds. But yeah, it takes about 4 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and jump over to the 2010 MacBook Pro just for comparison yet again. And then all of the statistics are going to be at the end of the video, like I said a million times before. I just keep repeating myself. I know I'm so repetitive. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump over to the MacBook Pro. And this, this one definitely takes a while, so I'm going to let you guys sit and wait through this. Okay, so it takes up uh, uh, just above 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes though. So we're here with the uh, statistics, and it took about 77.3 seconds for the Mac Mini con to convert a 362 second clip, whereas the MacBook Pro took about 353.4 seconds to convert a 362 second clip. Now, this just supports my ratio theory, I guess you could call it, that the Mac Mini, of course, is going to be four times as fast as the uh, MacBook Pro, because the MacBook Pro only has one core of processing power, whereas the Mac Mini has four cores, and this gave a 4.5 ratio. So this just good goes ahead and uh, supports my four core theory, I guess you could call it, for the Mac Mini. So now we're here with the, t with the statistics from the uh, convert to MP4 full 1080p clip, 
and the Mac Mini took about 257.2 seconds for 362 second clip, whereas the MacBook Pro took about 1,075 seconds. Now this gives a 4.2 to 1 ratio, which it again supports my quad core theory, I guess you could call it. Which makes me firmly believe that, of course, obviously for most people, it would be apparent that the uh, Mac Mini has four times the processing power as my, the Intel Core 2 Duo MacBook Pro. I think it's safe to say that between the two videos, the Mac Mini can be considered quad-core because uh, a lot of people were spectating that it wouldn't be quad-core just because of the low clock speed. Now guys, that concludes my test of the uh, video conversion stress test I like to coin the name of. So thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. This is kind of a voiceover, and I'm not too good at voiceovers yet, so I hope you give me some slack. But anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like my content and would like to see some future videos on the Mac Mini and my review of it completely, then you can go ahead and subscribe. That would be great, and possibly give a thumbs up for the really crappy drawings I did for the math statistics. Alright guys, see you later.